Okay, flea market again. Every day is a flea market for me. This time with new parts only. So we are back on the overdrives and I just got all the parts that I ordered. A whole bunch of uh, spacers, adjuster washers or trust washers, whatever they are. Different sizes because I don't know what size we're gonna need. So I ordered almost all the sizes. We have uh, for the 74 TR6, it, uh, the overdrive that we bought for it was missing the solenoid and the bracket and the cover and even the uh, switch, the steering column switch and a bezel because this TR4 never had overdrive, this TR6 never had overdrive so we had to buy all these. Well, I think we have everything. So we can go ahead and assemble the overdrive, but before that we have to still disassemble them because remember we haven't had removed the annulus from both of them. And to do that <coughs> I needed some assistance. And here's my assistant. Do we look nice together? Yeah, we're gonna do miracles together. We finally got the shop press. So today we're gonna use the press for the very first time. So hopefully everything's gonna work well. I'm just making sure that the annulus is not gonna hit the plates when it starts going down. If it starts going down, I don't know. going already. Okay, it's clear. I'm not sure if it is gonna go in this gap, so I'm just keeping my hand there just in case. That's it. <laughs> so that's how much it needed. Okay, so let's see. Oh, uh oh, the adjuster washer is missing here, and hence the bearing looks like that. Okay, there's your problem. <laughs> Look at those bearings, the bows. <laughs> yeah, so now we have to pull the bearing out. Okay, so let's see. Now I hope that the bows are gonna be strong enough. Actually, if I spread them around in even distance, I hope they will hold enough and I'll be, I'll be able to pull also the inner racer. Uh. I need lo longer bows for my separator. This way I'm making sure that the nuts on both sides are started. Come on! Why is this being a pain now? Why is it making me doing stupidity? Is this what you want? Huh? Okay. If this is what you want, you got it. So I'm gonna just throw these balls away before I mix them up with my uh, valve bowls and then I'm gonna be in trouble 
Now they're probably gonna be too long, huh? I'm guessing. Yeah, these go there, but they're not long enough. Hmm, let me see if I have a jaw puller with this one. Of course. Okay, try this. This is gonna be the last thing I'm trying. If this doesn't work, then I'm just gonna go buy new longer bolts. on the vice it's gonna be easier for me let's see if something's gonna happen this is here no. I wanna put it on the press but the plate still doesn't fit if we can move it a little bit more should it start going easy now okay so it's The bearing separator was biting on the bearing, that's why it was having troubles. Okay, okay now that it's out, I'm going to take out also the oil seal from here and this other bearing. This one sounds good, but I'm gonna change it because if the other one got ruined, there was a reason, right? There weren't any washers here, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so we can start assembling now. First, we need the bearing. And the big one is this one, I guess. So now it needs to be pressed in. To be pressed in, I need a piece of tube. Found this piece of tube, which goes here, but it is just on the edge of the inner ring, or the inner racer, and it's supposed to be right on the inner racer. I don't want to press on the both, I don't want to press on the outer racer, I want to force the inner racer in but this tube is just a little bit on the edge and I'm afraid it's gonna slip and it's gonna hit the balls so I found this something 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 which fits right there and then with the pipe on top I can force the thing in and I can do the I can use the press for it also here on the press I don't want the annuals to be sitting directly on the flange because we might break it that's why right. I'm gonna put this chunk of metal here which is gonna lay on this flat surface and that's gonna be stronger 
I believe. Okay, I can see it's going in. So that becomes a two again. Our two collection increases all the time. And now we're gonna use the same setup but upside down to drive the annulus with the bearing inside the housing. I guess that's how it's gonna work. You just have to keep them close. And we have to put this chunk of metal inside. Now I'm watching the I'm watching the gauge up there and if I see the pressure increasing it's always at zero now but if I see it increasing this means that I hit the end and and I need to stop. Okay, right there. So that's it. So now we have the next bearing to go in, which is this one, but before that bearing, have you noticed when we disassembled it something was missing? Yeah, that's the washer. It comes in different thicknesses so we can adjust the end plate. So the standard size is uh, 0 0.161 and there oversized and undersized available so I'm gonna try with the standard so these were not up to them yet now we have to play with these and we have adjusting washer 151 146 161 and 166 so we're gonna try with the 161 which is the standard size and if the end play is not between 0 0.05 and 0 0.10 and we will have to change it so that's the 161 it goes right there and now we're going to force the bearing inside yeah. okay we have to use the press again we've never had press before and I didn't know how convenient it was. Now, oh my god, I can't live without it. <laughs> Good. Wow, that was exact size. And that's the racer from the front bearing, the one that we took apart. So it's a little bit wider size than this one, so it's not gonna get stuck there. And we can keep going. So now, let's see, okay, it spins well. Uh, now we have to measure the end play. Okay, so now we have to install this flange. Actually, here the the seal goes here. Oops. The seal goes here, but I'm not going to install it before we assure that uh, the end play is the right in the right uh, tolerance. So I'm going to install the flange now temporarily. I'm going to tighten the nut and then we're going to measure the end play.
Now, to be honest, I don't, I couldn't find the torque spec for this uh, nut, so I'm just gonna tighten it to, I don't know, maybe 70. Yeah, I'm gonna do 70 foot pounds, and we're gonna go from there. I have to do that on the right, right? figure out a way to measure the end play. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm hoping my magnetic base is gonna stick to the annulus. Yes, perfect. So now okay. we're going to call this zero. And now we will see if it is going to change. So that's five down. So we are perfect. We don't need to do anything else. Our spacer is the perfect size, so we can continue assembly so now I can remove this nut remove the flange and install the oil seal okay, so I'm just gonna put some oil We can press it on the press. <laughs> and it's going in even. Okay. And now we can install this flange permanently. Just gonna Shoot some oil here again. And there must be a washer here, right? So we need to find the washer for here. So again, thanks to the manual that uh, I told you about in my previous video. I'll put the link here again. I can figure out what washer goes where. So for this washer on, the, on this flange, it says that the inner diameter must be 780 tau, which is this, and the outer diameter is 1.378. So that's the correct washer for here. I'm not even trying to put them the same way they were because that was my friend Carlos there who mixed up everything so now we can torque it again unfortunately i don't know the correct torque but i think 70 will be fine so here i called it a day guys because i was very tired but tomorrow i'm gonna do the same thing on the other overdrive and then we're gonna keep assembling so thanks for watching and i'll see you again in my next video bye